Hey everybody, welcome to Shifty's Club. Well guys, <clears throat> I'm not going to get too started into the um, <clears throat> into the trading card game as far as good strategies, you know, everything that I believe is going to happen as far as more in-depth analysis of decks until I do the analysis myself. And that might take some time. And, of course, I could probably get through the analysis in three days. But, that would leave me the other days, I'd have nothing to do. Literally. Which leads me to the next point. I'm bored as heck sitting at home. Pretty much nothing to do, you know. I could pretty much go out joyride or go play Pokemon or hang out somewhere, but... Instead, I decided that I'd do something that would absolutely benefit myself and the Pokemon community around me. As big as it is. Literally. <laughs> but anyway, um, I decided that I was going to get my job back at the Dawsonville Walmart. And the reason why, well, the two reasons why, is for A, I won't be bored anymore. And B, the other reason is so this way, if a kid say, I see a kid looking at the Pokemon cards or getting a video game or, you know, stuff like that. If they bring a Pokemon purchase to the checkout, I can pretty much just tell them, hey, there's a com there's com competitions for this. You can get real into it. There's prizes and see if I can't just boost up the whole economy as far as Pokemon goes. So, I think it's a win-win situation. I mean, I really got nothing else to do. I don't. <laughs> Not that I really need the money, but I got nothing else to do. So, what I decided to do, like I said, get the job back at Walmart. And I try to reach out to some uh, other people in the community about Pokemon and getting into competitive play. I figured it'd be a nice little boost, but of course I'm not just reaching out to the trading card game players, I'll reach out to video game players. Um, so I thought I'd at least get you guys caught up to date on that. Um, another thing, um, I might or might not do a case opening depending on whether or not I feel like buying a case. <laughs> um, of the new set, I might just buy a play set of everything, you know, just a whole bunch of, uh, the, um, the code cards, play online a little, and just have a case to sit around and do nothing with. Um, like I always do, <laughs> I have a bunch of sealed stuff, so, um, but anyway, guys, um, so, yeah, I got you guys caught up on that stuff, um, and... A little more for the uh, other Pokemon players. Uh, the uh, World Championships, um, those were not too long ago. Um, did some research uh, into some of the uh, things that I've seen. And I was very surprised to see a concept that I throw away because I didn't think it was a good concept. And that was Archie's Blastoise. I guess it's okay. I'm like in a you know, praise it or anything, um, but it got real popular on day two after it showed its appearance on day one, and several other people were putting it together to try to play with on day two because they loved it, and I think that's, that's a pretty reasonable concept, but I'd stick with something that I knew worked, um, Oh yeah, uh, props out to my my boys uh, Connor Fenton and Nathan Brower who did make it to day two of the uh, Pokemon World Championships. Um, and then Kyle Warden, Cody Lovingood, my other two boys that didn't make it in but at least got a World's Invite. So, I'm proud of each and every one of you guys um, that went. Um, and those of you who didn't go, you probably didn't hear what happened. Um, 
this is very interesting. Um, according to a news article and a lot of players, <laughs> there was uh, two guys from Iowa, part of Team Fish Knuckles, who supposedly were going to... I forget the exact words. They were going to kill the competition. And they were basically security um, searched their vehicle, found tons of weapons and ammo. Whew. If they didn't stop them, I am so glad I wasn't there. Oh my god. But anyway, guys, um, so those guys are put away. I hope nothing like this ever happens again. Um, so... I mean, it's all online. You guys can look at it yourself. I'm um, sure everybody's talking about it. Just like everybody was talking about it when um, Mises' laptop went gone um, and never got returned thanks to um, Flagface. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even want to call him by his first name. I'm going to call him Flag Face Lombardi. So, stupid Gina. Anyway, <laughs> um, so that covers pretty much the entire trading card game. Um, a lot of the decks aren't really worth mentioning because they're just the same. The parties aren't really worth mentioning because all of them are literally the same. Maybe one or two Pokemon off. Um, and, oh yeah. Out of the Masters Division, seven of the eight people were Japanese. Weird, huh? <laughs> uh, anyway, so that takes care of it. Um, anyway, I've gotten uh, in the video game, I've pretty much just created rogue parties. I've been doing some research into those matches that I've seen, trying to basically figure out how they work. Um, so, after watching all these uh, videos, I was able to compile lists for each particular aspect that I thought had the best chance of winning based on the metagame. And I hope I can uh, say that they're probably the best, but I don't know. It takes a skilled player to be able to pull something off. Um, but anyway, that takes care of the video game and the trading card game. Um, I've got nothing for the magic players. I don't have, I can't really play the piano, so I can't do that for you guys. <laughs> um, sports, all I can say is football season's coming around. Bring out your FanDuel and DraftKings accounts and, uh, go head to head and see how much money you can win. Don't do the group because if you do the group, odds are completely against you. I know there's a large, I know there's a large amount of money involved. And I do play things like the lottery. I do put like one ticket. I do that. However, this whole system is basically two players playing against each other to win a slump sum. Basically, I would do several different amounts and uh, win a specific amount based on like, say if you do 20, 20, you can win 35. You see what I'm saying? So you basically return 20 and gain 15. <laughs> anyway, enough on that. So guys, I guess that's it. I've got nothing else for you guys. I know it's been less than 10 minutes and I'm sure everybody's crying right now that they don't get to see my face any longer. But hey, you can watch this video over and over if you'd like. And I know there's a lot of people who do. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. If you haven't uh, subscribed, make sure to subscribe, post any comments, you have in the comment section down below. And as always, hope you guys have as much fun as I've had. I'll see you guys next time. At Shifty's Club.